Next, let's take a look at true inverse kinematics. So in comp number nine, we have a few very simple shapes set up. I'll open up the timeline just a bit because this is going to require us to take a look at more expressions. Here inside the composition, I have a body, which is just a gradient, the leg close, which is the leg that's closest to the body, the leg tip, and finally the leg target, which is the small yellow cross at the bottom of the leg. We can turn the visibility of this on or off after we've made our changes, but it's a good way to see where the position is for the end of our leg. What we're going to do here is employ a kind of complex expression that involves some trigonometry. Now, if you don't remember all your notes from your trig classes, don't worry. You can copy and paste this expression into your own project, and it will work just as well as long as you follow some simple rules. First of all, we see here in the parent column, the legs are parented in order to form a hierarchy from the leg tip to the leg close and from the leg close to the body, but the leg target isn't parented to any of these. If we select the leg target, then type UU on the keyboard, we'll see that all we've really changed on this layer is the mask. Now I've moved the position in the anchor point a little bit so those show up as parameters, but that's about all that's been modified for this layer. We'll close this up, then take a look at the leg tip again typing UU on the keyboard. Now this is made up of several masks, but more importantly, under the rotation value of the transformation, there's an expression. Remember, by typing EE on the keyboard, we'll open up the expression. In the timeline, I'll click and drag to open up the window so I can see more of this expression. Now it looks complicated, and it is, but thankfully Brian has figured out all of the math for this, and all we have to do is cut and paste. However, because our layer names are going to be different, we need to make sure that the syntax for the layer names in this composition is correct. The layer names appear here, this comp layer, and in quotes, the names of the layers that we need to target. We'll go through this in just a second. We know that the rotation is going to happen around the anchor point for our layer. So when setting this up, it's important to make sure that the anchor point for this layer is in the correct position. I'll double click on the layer in the timeline to open it in the layer window. Here we can see that the anchor point is at the very edge of our mask shape that defines the leg tip. I can move this here, but in moving it, when I go back to my composition, I can see that it's going to change the position of the layer inside the comp as well. Next we'll take a look at the expression that's applied to the leg close layer. So clicking on the leg close layer, typing EE will reveal the expression. We'll click and drag to reveal the expression window a little more for this layer as well. While they appear to be the same expression, they're similar but not quite the same. One layer is going to target the rotations of another layer in quite a different way, so it's very important that you keep the relationship of the leg close and the leg tip in order. Now these might be a bicep and a forearm instead of leg close and leg tip, but make sure that you have the assignment of the expressions as well as the parenting correctly selected. An easy way to make sure that you have these correctly selected is to simply duplicate the layers. For this example, we'll simply select the leg close, the leg tip, and the leg target by holding the shift key down and clicking on each of the layers. Next, I'll use Command D or Control D on the PC to duplicate all of the selected layers. In order to make sure that they're all next to each other, we can use Command Bracket or Control Bracket to bring those together. Now I want them to appear below the body, so I'll use Command Open Bracket or Control Open Bracket on the PC. You may notice that After Effects has named these Leg Close 4, Leg Tip 4, and Leg Target 4, rather than naming them Leg Close 2, Leg Tip 2, and Leg Target 2. The reason for that is that there are shide layers in this composition. You can see this by turning off the icon for shide layers for the entire composition. There's some extra legs already created in this comp that I've turned off and shied. We'll shy those away again, but you'll be able to use those later on to see how the expression has been modified. Here we've got the parenting for the leg close going to the leg body. And that's fine for the leg close number four. If we take a look at leg tip number four, it's going back to layer number five, which is the original leg close. We don't want it parented to the original leg, we want it targeted to the new leg close in this group of layers. So using F2, I'll deselect all of the layers, then parent 
leg tip four to leg close four. Next, I need to do a little repair on the expressions. If I open up the expressions for leg tip four by typing EE, then opening up the window for the expression in the timeline, I can see the expression that has been copied from the original leg tip to this new layer that we've created. Inside the expression, I can see that link one is going back to leg close. This is the original leg close layer. I don't want this leg tip to parent to the leg close layer. I want it to parent to leg close four. So I'll simply click on the expression to modify it, then click inside the quote to modify the name of the layer I want to target. So leg close space four. Additionally, I want to target leg target number four. So I'll highlight the number one and change that to a value of four. I'll use enter on the number pad to accept the changes that I've made to the expression. I want to do a similar thing to the expression for leg close four. I'll select the layer, then type EE on the keyboard to reveal the expression. I'll click and drag to open the window so I can see the entire expression. Now I can change the values of the expression by simply clicking on the expression itself. I'll change the value of the leg tip from simply leg tip to leg tip space four. I'll also want to change the target value here from target one to target four. Using enter on the number pad accepts the change to the expression.